my name is Erik Snapko and I am student of film sound and composition. In this video I will show you how to create a mockup using Vienna Symphonic Library. First let's listen to the piece and after that I will go through each section of the orchestra describing what I did. To replicate this well-known fanfare, I used synchronized special edition volume 1 plus and volume 2, some brass from the Epic Orchestra 2 and the new choir from the Big Bang Orchestra Ganymede. The choir starts with a soft legato passage in soprano and ends with the full choir. I've chosen the ambient Dica 3 preset in the mix tab. To emphasize the final chord, I layered the long swell articulation with the fully orchestrated chord articulation. What I really like about this choir is that it sounds great in any dynamic layer. At the beginning of the piece, strings create a magical texture. For this fast passage, I used detaché articulation. To avoid repetition, I was randomly switching between detaché and short detaché, which are part of plus edition. To add realism, I switched off the velocity crossfade for all short articulations and edited the velocity using logical editor in Cubase to randomly set velocity so that the notes on the beat would be accented and the second and fourth notes would be quieter, basically making it the way that the velocity line creates the zigzag pattern. Also you can see that the notes are overlapping. The strings are layered with tremolo chord played by chamber strings. This helps to better blend the strings together. The next part is the final resolution, where strings play legato. There I try to mimic the bow changes by switching legato articulations with sustain. Also, sustain have stronger attack than legato, so I have used sustains to create accent. For long articulations I used velocity crossface slider to control the dynamic and with expression I slightly lower the overall volume. Woodwinds in this piece are doubling the strings. At the beginning, flutes are accenting some notes from ostinatos in first violin. The first flute plays repetition of staccato, while the second flute plays only staccato. Again, you can notice the zigzag pattern in velocity. In the final resolution, I used legato and sustains to create accent. When programming woodwinds and brass, it is important to remember that the players have to breathe, so try to breathe with the passage and leave out the space accordingly. Finally, I used EQ on the reeds to add higher frequencies.
harp in this fanfare adds shimmering to the beginning and with glissandi helps to transition to final part. To program glissandi I used harp notes generator. I will put a link in the description where you can find the tutorial. I changed the sound of the harp with the EQ, mostly adding higher frequencies and I also used Exciter to add more shine. The brass section is the key element of this theme, mostly the horn part, which plays the main melody. To replicate the sound, I use many horns. To be exact, at the end there are 13 horns playing. This might be a faithful moment for an orchestrator, but by layering more horns you can get the sound you want, even though in reality you would only need 6 players. Also, many times the composer will mix the players with the samples to create a final soundtrack, as Stephanie Economy mentioned in her interview for VSL. I started with the 8 horn ensemble from Synchronized Special Edition Volume 2, but I wanted to add a little detail to it, so I layered it with the solo horn too. At the end, there is too much going on, so for the final horn line I added four horn ensemble to make it stand out about the whole orchestra. I use mostly the sustain patch, because it is brassier than the legato. For the short notes I use marcato articulation, which combines sustain articulation with staccato. I turned off the velocity crossfade for the staccato in the marcato articulation and adjusted the dynamic of the staccato using velocity so the sustain dynamic could still be controlled by the modulation. After the three note motif, Melody continues in trumpets, while horns fill the harmony. For this part I use the legato articulation to make the horns sound mellow. I also automated the humanized tuning to add realism. For trumpet I use fanfare trumpets from Epic Orchestra 2 layered with trumpet ensemble and trumpet C from Synchronized Special Edition Volume 1. I have only used sustained articulation because it can reach the highest dynamic. Trombones, tuba, and Dimension Wagner tubas creates the harmony and all play sustained articulations. To make the brass sound even better, I use VSL preset for EQ and compressor. And I also added exciter to horns and trumpets. In the original recording, horns changed the panning, so I created the same effect by automating the matrix mixer. By the way, all the plugins I have used are included in Vienna Ensemble Pro 7. All percussion except snare ensemble are from Synchronized Special Edition Volume 2, which features light version of synchron percussions. To make drums sound realistic, you should move them from the grid, but this can mess up your score layout. Instead, I have used the humanized delay to slightly offset hits. Also, layering different drums is important. I automated the velocity crossfade to turn on and off so I could play single hits by velocity and could create crescendo rolls when I wanted. To make them sound more boomy, I added more reverb in the mix tab of Synchron Player. I hope that you have enjoyed this walkthrough. Bye. <laughs>